Good morning. It is Thursday, March 15, 2018, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome in the news. Several non-resident ambassadors presented their credentials. Service Club Rotaract celebrated its 50th anniversary with the planting of trees. Land lease rates will soon be announced. And project for a clean Latour neighborhood to be carried out. I am Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news. Several non-resident ambassadors last Tuesday and yesterday presented their credentials to the President of the Republic of Suriname, President Desiree Bautista. Yesterday, the ambassadors from Spain, Pakistan, Germany and Nigeria arrived at the Presidential Palace. Twice a year, the President receives non-resident ambassadors who are accredited to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. On this occasion, the diplomats present their credentials on behalf of the head of state of their respective countries. Yesterday, Javier Maria Carboyoso Sanchez from Spain was the first to present his credentials. Well, actually, we, we thought about a certain number of things. I would say that agriculture, uh, biodiversity, tourism would be among those aspects that we will work from now on. Presenting the credentials is usually a sign of strengthening the bilateral relations between countries. In the conversation with the president, policy points were cited where countries can support each other. Naim Os Sakib of Pakistan reported that his country can do much more for Suriname in the field of agriculture. Uh, mainly it will be trade related and uh, as the president has uh, just informed me, uh, there are certain water related issues in Suriname. There are certain irrigation problems and Pakistan has the largest irrigation system in the world. So we have a little bit of expertise. I'm hopeful to have uh, a related delegation very soon in Suriname, depending on the conveniences of both the governments. Agriculture and tourism are the two major sectors in which Suriname is expecting support from the befriended countries. According to Michael Holger, ambassador of Germany, his country wants to provide support to Suriname as the greenest country in the world to preserve its biodiversity. Um, Germany is very proud and very appreciative of Suriname to preserve uh, the large rainforest as a natural heritage. It's a natural heritage for the whole of the world. And we are very grateful. And we want to wish to cooperate with Suriname in the preservation of the rainforest and also to cooperate with Suriname in the protection uh, against the effects of climate change. This is in the rain, happens in the rainforest, it happens in the coastal area. We, the, via CARICOM, we are cooperating with Suriname to uh, strengthen uh, the uh, coastal areas uh, of, of Suriname against uh, flood, rise, of, uh, rise of water, floodings, and so on. And we, are, and we intend to cooperate with Suriname also uh, in the area of sustainability to have and to maintain a sustainable economy and a sustainable use of energy. The Nigerian ambassador was the last in the queue to present its documents to the head of state of Suriname. The expectation we have now is to strengthen our bilateral relations between Suriname and Nigeria because we have so many things in common. And when we look at it in terms of agriculture, we talked about mining and other things, culture, tourism, we have a lot of things and so many Nigerians are interested in visiting Suriname and I believe with the present leadership we have in Nigeria and the leadership of Suriname, it will be possible and we'll work together and we enjoy ourselves. Today, it is the turn of the ambassador of Finland to present his credentials. The project, 
Plant a Difference has planted more than 65 trees this year in different locations. Rotaract International celebrated its 50th anniversary with this project. This project contributes to the awareness of the importance of trees and plants to humans. Nicolet Baron, project leader this year, confirmed that in the district of Kamoena, on the residential project Richelieu, most of the trees were planted. The residents received an adoption certificate. Plant a tree, grow a flower, make a difference by giving back to Mother Earth our power. The last 15 plants were placed in the ground on Tuesday afternoon at the Grand Café Orukul. Internationally, similar projects are carried out annually. In the presence of other Rotaractors, Rotarians, inspectors, interactors, and guests, the service club celebrated its 50th anniversary. The Ministry of Spatial Planning, Land and Forest Management will soon announce the increased land lease rates. Minister Rolin Samsudin said that there have been discussions with interest groups to come up with acceptable rates and the Council of Ministers still have to debate the issue. According to Samsudin, the adjustment of land lease rates is not only to generate more income for the state but also to eliminate land speculators. Livable Clean Latour is the name of the program that the District Commissioner, Remy Polak, is working on in the Latour neighborhood. It is a pilot project where in the last two weeks, people have been called upon to participate, after which the execution will start next Monday, said Polak. Currently, the local people have been assisted with the collection of bulk waste. However, in the future, Article 70 of the police law will be applied. Article 70 states that every citizen should clean the front of their property, the gutters, and the sidewalks. If one does not adhere to this law, after this program, fines will be applied. More inspectors from the Bureau of Healthcare, BOG, will be trained soon and then deployed to regularly inspect neighborhoods. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow for more. Have a blessed day.